If you're a Texas A&M grad, you know the Aggie ring is a symbol of pride. So it was especially heartbreaking when an alum lost the ring he earned 77 years ago. Well, our own Aggie, Teresa Woodard, has this story. There's Warren Parkway, Warren Sports Complex, Warren's clock on Frisco's Main Street. That name is everywhere. Yeah, I'm proud. I'll try not to let pride get in the way, but I am. I'm proud of what the city has done for me. Frisco wouldn't be Frisco without Bob Warren, but for the last few weeks, Bob Warren just hasn't been himself. Pretty empty. A pilot who survived World War II. Picture me in my Air Force uniform. Former city councilman, <laughs> former mayor. Here's a... Uh, they call him Mr. Frisco. 1936 Frisco football team. I'm number six. But perhaps his favorite title, Aggie. That's correct. Uh -huh. Texas A&M, class of 1942. I, I don't really know how to tell that uh, an outsider what Aggie rings mean to Aggies, but I can spot one across the room. Bob Warren's original Aggie ring from 1942 is worn bare. It's been that way for decades. His late wife knew that bear ring bothered him, so she surprised him with a replacement in the 60s. It, uh... He'd never taken it off. During lunch at Chick-fil-A and shopping at Walmart, his Aggie ring, sentimental for so many reasons, disappeared. So we've retraced our steps right quick and futilely searched and could not find it anywhere. Balfour, the maker of Aggie rings, heard about the loss from a Facebook post. And on Bob Warren's 98th birthday, he unwrapped a replacement. Oh my goodness, where did this come from? It's been lost so long. Balfour manufactured a 1942 ring and gave it to Bob free of charge. Well, I think it's a, it's a thing of beauty, but <laughs> uh, that's probably because I'm an Aggie. But uh, <laughs> here's my buddy. A 98-year-old who still sings to show his spirit know why. can now show off that spirit again. Once an Aggie, always an Aggie. In Frisco. I'm Teresa yeah. Woodard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, how wonderful.